Welcome back everybody, Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars, Huey Outdoors, and this video is one that people have been waiting for for quite a while. These just started shipping uh, Monday, the first ones went out. Unfortunately, they had promised that everybody that pre-ordered one would get one, and they weren't able to complete that just because of supply and demand. Every manufacturer is having trouble getting parts right now. But there, there's another shipment coming right now, and that should fulfill all the pre-orders. After that, um, I don't expect these to be in stock anytime soon. It's going to be a, a prepay and, and wait type of basis. But what we have here is the new Envision 50 millimeter Halo XRF. This one has the rangefinder, the battery pack, the onboard lossless video, and the Wi-Fi out. Now, there's three 50 millimeter models for the Envision. Now you have the regular LR which has been around for for the ever since they've been putting them out it's the base model no video it has video out but no internal video no rechargeable batteries you can run a rechargeable battery pack off of it no uh, rangefinder then you have the x which is onboard video rechargeable batteries wi-fi out but no rangefinder and then this is the big daddy the XRF. Uh, the XRF has a very nice rangefinder. I've been able to reliably uh, get non-reflective targets to 1900 yards, usually 2300 yards. If it starts getting foggy, obviously that's going to cut into it, but 2300 yards in the open has not been a problem. 1900 yards is very reliable on, on cattle, coyotes, all different kind of things. Uh, these have the improved lens they decided to go with the improved lens through the whole lineup so every 50 millimeter now has the improved lens on it the LRs still have the control panel on the side the X and the XRF have your buttons up on top which makes it easier for everybody that it's it's just better control the battery compartment is a huge plus in my opinion now you unscrew this back here which can be done with gloves no gloves there's no you don't have to force it look at that the batteries come out oh, I just lost that one but the batteries come out so there's magnetic there so you don't have to worry about that and then when you go back in there's no worry about as long as you get it all the way in you don't have to a lot of these battery compartments have had bad designs where it's hard to do with even without gloves and then you have recoil issue this it's they took care of it all it's a great design on the on the battery on the batteries up here you have a now a USB-C port and that's how you offload your videos to your computer which they say is lossless um, I, I still think the video does not look as good as what you're seeing through the scope and of course you're gonna have some loss uploading to your computer processing it and then uploading to YouTube or rumble or wherever wherever you're looking at this on Odyssey one of those platforms there's there's always some loss going on um, really there's there's not much more to say about it except this is the in my opinion, this is the number one scope on the commercial market now. You have good field of view, almost the field of view of a 35 millimeter. You have a good magnification. You have a badass rangefinder, onboard video. Um, with video, rangefinder, and everything going, I've been getting about six hour runtime. If you're not running the rangefinder, if you're not running the video constantly, uh, not running the Wi Fi, you can get seven to eight hours. The batteries, that you should be using in this per the manufacturer or what it comes with and that is keep power with a k k e e p power and get it back out here and it's the 3500 milliamp hours you can find them i think up to 8000 milliamp hours less does not do good more you always think more is going to help you more does not help you they found this is the ones that it comes with 3500 milliamp hours are the ones you want to use they are going to get you the longest time uh, you risk overheating the unit 
um, and getting less performance if you if you use the higher the higher milliamp hours. The cap here will only go on one way as you just saw I tried to put it on the wrong way in the dark and it won't let it go on so it only goes on one way but it won't even start threading if you try to put it on backwards so like I said great design they did a good job on the the battery compartment everything about this is um, is an improvement now the, the lens I talked about this on the X video the lens is improved lens it's a lower f-stop what that means is that uh, it'll perform better in poor conditions. It just lets a little bit more information in, lets a little bit more heat in. Uh, the only downside to this is that instead of at coming into focus at 20 yards with the 50 millimeter lens, it comes into focus at about 25 yards now. So you lose about five yards. Now you can still shoot inside of 25 yards. You can still kind of tell what it is, but it's not that perfect in focus. Everything basically 25 yards out to infinity. You don't have to worry about focus on this. Everything is in focus. All right, let's go to uh, the footage. I know that everybody wants to see a little bit of pig and, and coyote killing and see how it looks in the field. I will say that uh, this year in Texas, it's just rained, rained, rained. So uh, most of these are high humidity, but we have a um, very nice unit that performs well in those conditions. Just because uh, everybody's gonna ask, this is an LWRC Reaper Mark II with a 20 inch barrel I used the Q Thunder Chicken on it from Silencer Shop. Or actually, this is the Trash Panda. I'm sorry, Trash Panda. And just because of ammo reasons, I'm shooting 168 grain steel cased wolf soft points. Uh, they work great inside 100 yards. Some of these farther shots, uh, the performance is not definitely not what the Hornady is. But um, right now, in these times, uh, when you're going through 1,000, 1,500 rounds a month, you got to do what you got to do. All right, let's go to the to the hunting footage.